It's time for the meanest flower that blows. Henry, did you see the movie Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, yes, I did, Steffi. It was really exciting. Big waves, treasure, pirates, all that. So, tell me, Henry, what does Spotted Knapweed have to do with pirates? Remember in the movie, the pirates that turned into skeletons when they walked into the light? Ooh, don't remind me, that was scary. They were cursed to live forever. Yes, they were. Arrgh! <laughs> But well, what does that have to do with spotted knapweed? Spotted knapweed seeds can live for what seems like forever. Maybe 20 years. Well, how do you know that, Henry? Scientists put seeds in 10 time capsules buried in the ground, one for each year. They believe 10 years' worth of data would tell them how long seeds would live in the soil. So, what happened in 10 years? Uh, uh, and why did you tell me 20? Well, 10 years passed. Each year, they opened up a capsule, and the seeds were still viable with no sign of dying. At the end of ten years, they ran out of capsules. Scientists really don't have proof how long seeds will live, but speculate they'll live many more years than ten. That always reminds me of the many lifetimes those pirates have to live. Wow. Next time I see pirates in the daylight, I'll think of the never-dying spotted knapweed seeds. What, what else does knapweed have in common with pirates, Henry? Pirates have treasure. Spotted knapweed has a crown. The crown is in the soil just below the surface and just above a thick, long taproot. You can pull the plant out of the ground, but if you don't get it well below the crown, it'll grow back from the root just like the pirates grew back after being shot or stabbed. Oh, gross. <laughs> Anything else morbid and scary like drinking poison brandy? <laughs> Spotted knapweed roots release chemicals into the soil that are then sucked up by the roots of grasses and other plants. The chemicals act like a computer virus, telling the plant's roots to stop growing or signaling cells to die off. Knapweed's chemicals make some plants self-destruct. Well, do the other plants even have a chance to survive? Many plants put out chemicals to claim their space. That's natural. Spotted knapweed chemicals cause more damage, and knapweed survives where other plants cannot. Some humans are allergic to the chemicals and suffer asthma symptoms or serious allergic reactions. It's always a good idea to wear gloves and cover your skin when handling spotted knapweed. Tell me more about what happens to the other plants, Henry. Next time on The Meanest Flower That Blows. Find out more at weedawareness.org.